Copernic just beat out actual heroes and being given enormous award for making the world a better place. Just in case you hadn't yet heard enough about third-string quarterback Colin Copernic, here's some more news to tick off every former NFL fan. The former 49ers player whose main accomplishment in life up to now has been single-handedly garnering disrespect for the flag and driving the National Football League into the ground, just can't seem to stop raking in the awards. Sometimes it's hard to say if a career change will be good for a person, but in the case of Kaepernick, he seems to be tailor-made for the job of social justice warrior-in-chief. His accomplishments since leaving the game of football far outnumber his accomplishments while he was playing, and he has once again proven that all you have to be to turn into a leftist hero is stick it to Patriots. Just in case you hadn't yet heard enough about third-string quarterback Colin Kaepernick, here's some more news to tick off every former NFL fan. The former 49ers player whose main accomplishment in life up to now has been single-handedly garnering disrespect for the flag and driving the National Football League into the ground, just can't seem to stop raking in the awards. Sometimes it's hard to say if a career change will be good for a person, but in the case of Kaepernick, he seems to be tailor-made for the job of social justice warrior-in-chief. His accomplishments since leaving the game of football far outnumber his accomplishments while he was playing, and he has once again proven that all you have to be to turn into a leftist hero is stick it to Patriots. The original national anthem Kneeler has received numerous awards, but according to Truth Revolt, he's gotten another one. After being named GQ's Citizen of the Year, Sports Illustrated is handing over its Muhammad Ali Legacy Award to the Kneeling Coward. Usually, SI reserves the honor for a sports figure who has influenced social change for decades, but according to Steve Connella, the magazine's executive editor, that isn't a strict requirement. The Muhammad Ali Legacy Award is given to those who make the world a better place. The fact Colin hasn't played this year or been on the field doesn't disqualify him. That fact that he hasn't played in a game actually shows what he has sacrificed for standing up for what he believes. There will never be another Muhammad Ali, but you can see the echoes of, Ali, in what Colin has done over the last 12 to 15 months. I don't know about you, but that doesn't exactly sound like a description of what Colin Kaepernick has done over the past year. From the perspective of someone who doesn't see race as a reason to give a person any different treatment, the chain of events looks a little different. To most of us, it looks like one disgruntled player decided to dishonor a tradition that gives honor to those who give their lives for us. It was a pretty basic rebellion move that took off like wildfire since rebellion is running rampant in our country today. Cup is no Ali, as Larry Elder compared and contrasted the two athletes here at Truth Revolt. Ali, argued that his religious beliefs made him a conscientious objector who ought not be forced to join the military. In doing so, Ali faced up to five years in prison and was stripped of his ability to fight in the U.S. for more than three years, his prime years as an athlete. While the heavyweight title holder avoided prison during his appeals process, that ended up in the Supreme Court, he was forced to hand over his passport, which prevented him from fighting overseas, as well. Banned from boxing and stripped of his world heavyweight title, Ali argued his case on the road, speaking at a number of colleges and universities where he repeatedly stated that he would rather abide by his religious convictions rather than violate them in order to make money. Martin Luther King Jr. urged his followers to admire, Ali's, courage. He is giving up fame. He is giving up millions of dollars to do what his conscience tells him is right. By contrast, Kaepernick wants to have it both ways. The NFL allows players to stand or not, depending upon their own choice. So the league actually gives players permission to stand or not to stand for the national anthem. In Ali's case, his refusal to join the military cost him the ability to earn a living in his chosen profession. Breitbart still and Gwyn nailed it, when he wrote, in what has become undoubtedly the most award-winning and star-studded unemployment in the history of unemployment, Colin Kaepernick has won yet another award. Sure, modern culture requires everyone get a trophy but this is getting ridiculous. Kaepernick will receive the award at the woke title Desi's Sports Person of the Year Awards Ceremony in New York City next week. In a statement from Ali, 
the unemployed quarterback is praised for his passionate defense of social justice and civil rights for all people. Like Muhammad, it continues, Cohen is a man who stands on his convictions with confidence and courage, undaunted by the personal sacrifices he has had to make to have his message heard. He has used his celebrity and philanthropy to benefit some of our most vulnerable community members. There's some debate as to whether Ali or Kaepernick deserved an award at all, but certainly, none of the descriptions given when handing out the Ali award fits the Kaepernick that we know today. If there were an award for first to flip off someone who deserves respect, maybe that's the one he should win, but as for Kaepernick, the only thing he seems to stand for is himself, and that's far from an award-winning quality. In quality.